Hi all. Thanks for joining the session. Right, so um, we will start in about two minutes just to um, let some of the person to join, right? So for those who haven't joined, okay, we'll start in two minutes, yeah? Is anyone here already know just login or heard about just login before? Yeah, we can type it into the chat if you have anything want to say. Ah, okay. I saw uh, Jeannie. Jeannie, you said you're already our user. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay, and Sharon is new here. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay, I think we can start the session already. All right. I think most of you already here. Okay. So um, let me do a, a quick introduction about myself. All right, so my name is Wayne. I'm actually the sales account uh, exec of Just Login. So I have been with Just Login with uh, more than one year already. So actually my main responsibility is to um, understand what uh, is the clients, uh, what, what is your all uh, issues or problems when it comes to your day-to-day -day HR processes, right? And then from there, we come up with uh, right solutions, and uh, uh, write software that can provide to you and to save your time and also uh, save your money, okay? So, um, yeah, I think some of you already uh, heard uh, Just Login before, okay? So, but yeah, and but for those who don't know, actually Just Login, we are the uh, uh, HR software uh, provider, right? So later on, I will, I, will, I will talk more about our company and also our system so for today's session uh, will be quite straightforward so i will I, I will i'm here to actually share with you all how uh, our system uh, hr system works okay I will, I will i will do a quick demo to show you what are the core features that we have in our system right and do a quick introduction about just logins and how we can uh, from there to save your time uh, on your day-to-day -day uh, hr processes your hr works and also save your money okay so all right before i start okay just want to uh, make it clear so if let's say any of you you have any questions you can use the q a box all right so try not to key in your questions into the chat box because uh you know if, if there's uh, many people chatting here and there then we, we might miss it okay so yeah try to key in your answers under the q a box okay so uh, my team or me will try to answer it, okay? And then at the end of the session, uh, we will also put out a poll. So this poll, if let's say you are really interested in our system, you would like to explore more, okay? We are ready for further discussion, okay? Um, yep, you can anytime, uh, you can click the yes, and then you can leave your details uh, with us, and then we will try to uh, get back to you. So basically, um, we are we are open, right? We are more than welcome to have a one-to-one -one, uh, session, right? To, to share with you more about our system, to do a consultation, to understand your requirements, okay? So, and uh, if you prefer to do it Zoom for the consultation, or you prefer to have it face-to-face, -face, uh, we can do that as well, all right? So, okay. Um, before I go into, uh, our system okay so i would just like to share a bit of uh what is just login all right so just login we're actually one of the world first hr software as a service provider right so in singapore we are the pioneer 
who have more than 21 years experience on the cloud uh, HR solutions already. Okay, talking about our customer base, we actually have more than 2,500 uh, companies we who are using our system right now. Okay, and of course, it is still growing. And uh, yes, we do want some awards, um, which is uh, maybe one of the best uh, HR of the years out there. Okay, you can see the awards below there. So uh, one of the best of the year. And talking about your data, Okay, your data. So we are actually stored locally and we are stored in Amazon Web Services. Okay, so called the AWS. Uh, so actually we are ISO certified already. Uh, so you no need to worry about any data, um, uh, uh, any data leaking. You don't need to worry about data security. So all your data is protected and it's all confidential. All right. So my next page over here okay so these are actually what just login are providing right so um this is like our whole ecosystem so even though um some of you may be familiar with this already but yeah even though it looks like the separate modules to you uh, let's say we have a payroll system here we have a leave expense okay uh, uh, attendance and so on okay even though it looks separate but actually it links to each other okay it integrates to each other for example if uh, the most common one we're talking about the payroll and the leave system right payroll and leave so let's say today you have any staff uh, who has, will be on unpaid leave okay no pay leave so you're supposed to deduct their salary right so in this case uh, any unpaid leave that has been approved can directly integrate the data to the payroll system. Okay. Um, another example, if let's say some of you are, uh, are using the attendance system, um, you want to record all the OT hours, how many hours they have worked, uh, all this data can directly sync to the our payroll system and then you can pay them okay, through the monthly salary and so on. Okay, so this is our overall concept, our all the core modules that we have right now. So, okay, the next thing that I will do is I will share you our live system uh, directly. Okay, so um, from my live system here, I will just mainly to share with you what are the core features that we have. Um, I will not share with you uh, very details on how you can do everything. Okay, uh, maybe according to requirements and, and so on. Right, so I will just here to share the, the core features. Okay, and uh, and yeah, because the main idea here is that when I show you all this, this is actually what we have right now, okay? The features that we have. But according to different companies, right? Of course, you will have your different policies. Ah. So that's why if you are interested to explore more after this session, yeah, feel free to leave your contact details or you can contact us also. Ah, then we can have like a one-to-one -one session to understand your requirements and how, how we can configure the system to cater to your needs, your requirements, okay? So now, okay, I believe you all can see my uh, live system over here already, okay? So the first thing I want to let you all see, it's the modules that are available, okay? So all of the modules that are uh, available will be on the left-hand side, all right? So today, um, the first thing I want to talk about is the leaf system, okay, the leaf. So when you click on the leaf dropdown, you will see different buttons over here that can indicate to different um, um, functions, different uh, uh, areas or different administration tasks, okay? So the first thing uh, is the dashboard, okay? Which is this dashboard that you're looking at. So I will say this dashboard will be more for or more towards to your employees, okay? To your staff. So why? Because if you're looking from here, you will see different kind of uh, widget or information uh, uh, to show to them. For example, like their upcoming leave, okay? And uh, is there any last, last leave taken? And what is the next holiday, okay? And then below here, we also have a calendar. So they, they can have their own personal calendar to check when is the holiday, uh, when are they on leave? And if they click on the staff calendar, okay, I'm talking about your employees. If they click on the staff calendar, they can see different departments and their colleagues leave day. Okay, as long as you give them the permission or the access to do it. 
All right, they can do, they can view all this. So we're talking about leaf system, right? Most importantly, how can they actually apply leaf, right? So ah, they can directly click from this. So for our system, uh, we are not only providing the um, web portal, and we are actually providing mobile app as well. So the mobile app, I will show you shortly. But for now, if they apply leaf via the web portal like this, ah, the first thing they can do to submit their leaf form, right? Which is to select their leaf type. So over here, they can actually choose all the leaf type uh, that they entitled. We we'll list out like this. Let's say we select sick leaf. Okay, the system will directly show them this one. Okay, how many balance um, they have currently? And is there any pending uh, application or right, pending for approval? So, and some of the numbers, okay, we'll be shown here as well. Their balance, their entitlement. So, after they select the lead type, they can, our system even have this illness reason, okay, a drop down list that allows your uh, staff to, to select. Okay, let's say today they are on fever, they can just simply choose, they can select the date, they can even upload documents as well. Of course, if they want to attach their MC or any supporting documents, they can do that. And we also have a remarks over here. Uh, they can simply key in a free text and then submit. Okay, so this is how they do it. And other than submitting the, their leave form through the system, right? So what your employees can do also, which is to check on their own leave summary. Uh, this one very important because for those um, for, for those who are actually doing all these HR works manually, uh, I'm sure you are like doing, you know, managing all these numbers, all these balance for all your employees through Excel, okay? But if you're using a proper system like this, okay, your staff, when they want to know their balance, they don't need to go through you. They come to the system directly, check themselves, and they can even check their balance straight away from this table like this, okay? All of the different leave type that are entitled, balance, numbers, adjustment, everything, okay? And they can even download this report, uh, this report themselves, okay? So this is mainly for your staff, huh? So let's say we talk about the admin. Okay, if uh, I think some of I think most of you here should be the admin users, right? Maybe you are from HR, uh, maybe you are from admin, even IT, or maybe you are the boss of the company. Okay, if you're handling all this, ah. so when we come to this administration tab, you will see on the above we have all this. We have all these different uh, administration tasks, all these different uh, functions that you can do. Okay, you can you can do from the system. So I will not go through everything. I will just show you the key things um, like the like this one, the block leaf. Okay, so for block leaf, yeah, maybe some of you, okay, um, you do hire some elders, okay, or maybe you have some staff that they are not comfortable to apply leaf um, using their own mobile app or uh, even the web portal, all right? Then this feature actually can uh, uh, suit you, which is you can, as an admin, you can apply leave on behalf of your employees. All right, how to do that? Huh? Basically from here, you can just choose. If let's say today you want to help all employees or just selected employees. So from here, of course, in the system, there will be all the employees listed down like this. So you can choose those, okay, that you need to help them to apply leave. Okay, so what type of leave? Annual, sick leave, for example, ah, from when to when, how many days, remarks, ah, all this you can do that and then straight away just submit. Okay, so we have this feature ah, for the admins to help your employees to submit leave, okay, uh, to, to apply leave. So another thing I want to show you, which is this adjustment feature. Okay, so this adjustment actually uh, quite helpful. Um, for example, we talking about this year, right? We have a Labor Day that fall under the Saturday, right? So mostly, okay, some company, they will force their employees to be on leave in the upcoming Monday, for example, all right? So you can use the block leave feature. Remember just how I show you? And, but for some company, they don't force their staff to apply leave on a specific day, but instead, you give them off in lieu. Okay, you, you, you give them one day extra public holiday off in lieu. Ah, so you use the adjustment. 
So we have all this, okay, different leave type you can choose. Let's say public holiday uh, off in lieu, okay? How many days you want to entitle? Okay, you have, uh, you can you can have to choose, lah. you can choose either it's a credit or debit, right? Remarks, and we even have the expiry date here as well. So this expiry date, for example, when you give them this off in lieu, right? Maybe you just want them to be, uh, uh, to clear it, maybe within three months, uh, or maybe within six months. Uh, all this you can set up yourself as I mean. And yeah, you can just choose who are the staff to entitle for, right? So the next thing I want to show you is this uh, transfer leave balance. So what is this? Uh? This one actually is your carry forward, okay? Your carry forward of uh, uh, leave, right? So I think this one, most of the company out there also have this, uh, huh? it's, it's very common practice. So for your broad for leave, uh, you can actually let the system to automatically do this. Okay, you no need to do your manual transfer. Uh. So to do that, uh, you just need to do some initial setup. For example, if you are based on, if you allow them to transfer all their leave balance, uh, let's say for the annual leave, okay, from the previous year, you can do that. Or you only allow to have a maximum of how many days or maximum of how many percentage Okay, uh, all this, you can, you can do your customization over here. Okay, you can configure it accordingly. And some company also practice this grace period, or we can call it the expiry date. Uh, because when you transfer to the next year, right, you don't want them to, uh, let's say you want them to clear it uh, by uh, June, okay? Or you want to clear it by 31st of September. Uh, all this, you can set up yourself. All right, once you set up the system automatically do that, do the transfer for you, right? And of course, we have the child details here because our system also followed by the MOM regulations, okay? It's MOM compliance already. So for those staff who have child, let's say below seven years old, uh, you can just key in their details here and then our system can entitle them the childcare leave accordingly, right? So, okay, under this configuration tab, uh, under your leave type, you can see uh, we have childcare leave for Singaporean and we also have childcare leave for the foreigners. Uh, so, so this is according to MOM, uh, uh, Sing Singaporean will have six, foreigners will have two. Uh, but of course, if you have your own way uh, of practice this, right, with your own policies, uh, you can still change it, right? You can still change the numbers. And also you can have the rights to assign to certain groups of employees only. Okay, all this leave type, you can create yourself. Huh? If let's say today you have any birthday leave um, and so on, okay, all this you, you can create yourself. Yep. So another thing I want to show you on the leave, okay, under the leave, huh, you can also set up different grades. So different grades can have different annual entitlement, right? And let's say I click into the management, for example, so under the management grade, I can even set up incremental annual entitlement. What do I mean by that? Huh? Um, let's say for their first year uh, with a company, they were entitled for 18 years. Maybe the second year, they got 19, third year, they got 20, and fourth, they got 21, uh, and so on. Uh, so, so this is how you can set up uh, all this, okay, for different grades as well. So, yep, what else do we have in the leave? And yeah, the, the one last thing, okay, public holiday. So this one also very important. Basically, whenever the government announced uh, there's a, a holiday for next year, uh, we already have it in our system already. Uh, okay, but still, if you want to do your adjustment, let's say you want to add on Chinese New Year day three, day four, day five, uh, up to you, okay? So yes, this is the overall uh, concept or the, and also the core features that we have in the leave system. Um, like I said, I will not go through too much details on the other things like the configuration or company settings uh, because this one depends on different companies, right? different policies. Uh, so that's why for, with this one, if you're interested to understand more, okay, yeah, we will suggest to have a one-to-one -one session with you. You can leave your contact with us or contact us directly. Uh, we, can, we, can, we can discuss that further, all right? So, okay, that's all for leave. So the next module I want to talk about is actually the expense, okay? Which is, I think, 
most of the company out there also need this. Okay, let's say today when your staff they have any transport claim, okay, they take Grab or they drive themselves to, to somewhere, okay, to the other side. So you the the, the staff want to claim this uh, back, okay, from the company. Uh, then they can use this system. Okay, they can use this system. So um, we have a dashboard like this, but how do they apply for the uh, claims or the expenses? Okay, they can do this. Okay, same, same thing. We also have it in the mobile app, but uh, the mobile app will show you shortly. So if they apply, okay, if they submit the claims from the web portal, this is how they can do it. Okay, they can have all this category, okay, to choose. Um, of course, all the categories here, you can customize yourself as the admin. All right, you are the admin, you can customize all this yourself. Huh? And then the staff just choose the one that relevant to them. And then they can key in the other details. Um, we even, okay, the amount they can key in here. And we even have all the different currencies that they can choose from, right? So let's say we talk about our neighbor, okay, uh, Malaysia. So they can key in uh, the, the amount directly, Malaysia Ringgit. And we even have a real-time exchange rate over here as well, okay? Okay, and uh, tax, yeah, GST, 7%, uh, all this they can choose, then add attachment over here, okay? Any uh, grabs, receipts, uh, they can attach. So this is the normal or the standard claims that we have. And we even have our own transport claims as well. So the transport claim looks like this, okay? Um, they can select different transport type over here. Let's say today they select their cars, okay? Select cars. Then they can also choose whether one, one need to be calculated based on the distance or the autometer, right? So usually we calculate based on distance. Ah, and then they can just straight away key in their address, okay? And when they key in, uh, the system actually can auto-calculate what is the distance from this point A to point, point B uh, because we actually follow by the Google map distance. Uh. Uh, so the system can auto key in. Let's say uh, there is uh, 20 kilometers, okay, from A to B. And then with our system, okay, you, as I mean, you can also set up your own company rate. Let's say 0 0.6. And then the system auto calculate the amount based on the distance, okay, being key in, okay, being input. Uh, and the rest, they can still key in themselves and then add attachment as well. All right, so yep, this is how your staff can submit their standard claims, uh, any other claims, or the transport claims. So now I go to the admin side. Okay, of course, for the admin, for the approval, how are you going to receive all these claims from the system? Okay, from your staff, right, through the system. So this is how it looks like. Okay, for the approval, okay, you will have a list like this. Okay, who submitting to you? and uh, the start date okay it's by when and very important the status okay because uh, all this if it's show as submitted which means it's not approved yet uh, so if you are the approver you can simply go and view and then from the view you can see all these uh, different line items uh, so under the all these reports uh, you can have all these line items uh, the amount and the receipts you can find it here uh, so this is how you can see uh, to to check uh, the, the the claims that are being submitted to the admin to the approver okay if you want to view more details you can click this right to view each of the expense uh, okay and we even have an audit history uh, this one very important okay um whoever right uh, your, your employees uh, all the action being taken uh, no matter from the staff or even from the admin approval, uh, everything will be recorded here. So if it's okay, you can approve or you can reject, right? So this is our overall expense uh, management, right? That they can help you, right? No more Excel anymore, huh? So I want to show you this as well, okay? Which is under the administration, uh, sorry, under the configuration here, you can, like I mentioned before, okay, you can set up your own categories, okay, own claims categories. You can set up your account code. And very important, you can have the options 
to directly transfer all these claims uh, to the payroll. Uh, because today, if you don't want to pay them um, with petty cash or you don't want to uh, do your normal standard bank transfer, uh, you want to include it under their monthly salary, uh, you can directly do this. Okay, you, you check the box, you check the box, and then all the data, all the expenses claims being approved, you will go to the payroll system, okay, to pay them monthly. Uh, pay. So, yep, this is it. And the reports, okay, yes, of course, we also have, uh, we also have the reports, um, and also the summary reports, to, and all these reports, uh, you can download into Excel, PDF, and so on, right? And, uh, okay, over here, I would like to share with you on the mobile app, okay? How does our expense mobile app looks like, right? So let me share this. Okay. So, okay, you can see from my phone over here, yeah, maybe the share screen is a bit delayed, huh? Because it's from this uh, app. So, um, a bit laggy, lah, but don't mind, lah. it's just an app, okay? Uh, the, this uh, share screen app. So, okay, you see we have two apps, right? So over here, we click on the expense app, okay? And this is how your staff can submit all their claims. So very simple, uh, very simple. They can just click on this camera button over here, okay? The first thing they can do, uh -huh, they click on this camera button, and then uh, they can capture their receipts directly. So let's say I just simply take one, okay? And then I click done. I click upload, right? So because for our system, we also have uh, ACR, okay, OCR, which is optical character recognition. So after they take a picture of their receipts, the system actually can detect some of the details from the receipts, okay? And then uh, auto key in the details for them. For example, uh, the system detect the date and the amount, uh, then the system help them to auto key in. So as a staffer, I don't need to key in anymore unless um, they need to do some adjustment on that. Um, if not, right over here, they key in the relevant section, the fields, um, amounts, right? And then the tax, 7% GST, and then, yeah, and then just save and submit. That's it. So yeah, it's very convenient, right, to do all this already. Uh, if you're doing manually, uh, this is your, it will help, it will be helpful, lah, okay? And after the expense module, I want to show you on the attendance, okay? I think some of your, uh, some of you also uh, asking about the attendance uh, that we have, okay? The attendance system that we have, which is you want to calculate your staff OT hours, uh, how many hours do they work, uh, okay? So we have that and it will be under this app over here. Okay, so if we're talking about attendance, right, the very first thing, which is how do your staff do the clock in, clock out? Okay, how do they do that? Ah, so you can see uh, from this mobile app, the interface, um, there are a few things that they can see. Their upcoming shift, okay, if you do preset for them already, um, and how many hours that they uh, work so far throughout the month, any OT hours they have, and then there is this clock in or clock out data that they can see. So how do they do the clock in? Uh? They can simply click this plus button over here. And then we have different uh, buttons that they can click. Uh -huh. Like the pay slip, okay, they can view from the app. And the apply leave, yeah, just now I have mentioned to you. Okay, they can apply leave from the app. And now about the attendance, we will click this clock in or clock out. So once they click, okay, we have this facial recognition, uh, facial detection features over here. Okay, you can see lah, the, the square is pointing at my face. So what do I do? I have uh, the, the, the timing, uh, it's real time data. Okay, I can just simply click on the in or just out. It's that simple, right? Just one button, right? But you will realize uh, we also have another two more columns at, at below. Uh, so if um, today your staff, they require to go on different sites, they require to, let's say, um, you know, especially nowadays uh, during the pandemic, they need to work from home. And then uh, some other days they go back to the uh, office like me. Okay, today I'm working from home. Uh, so I just click the locations 
and then I can choose work from home. Ah, okay. If there's any remarks, I can still key in, and then once I key in, I click in. That's it. Or I click out. Okay. Okay. So this is how you do the click out. Okay. It's that simple. Ah. So now I will go back to my web portal over here. Okay. So for my web portal, okay, the attendance, so it will be like this. Okay. Okay, so now we go back to our attendance modules over here, right? So from the web portal, okay? So after your staff, your employees do or done the clock in, clock out from their mobile app already, of course, you want to see the data, right? Uh, so we have these reports that ready for you as well. So you have different reports over here, okay, under the report tabs. So you can have a daily report to see uh, who is ready in, who is ready out. Okay, you can even have this uh, photo and the map reports uh, over here. Uh, so this photo and map reports, uh, I go to, let's say, yesterday. Ah, so you see, I have one of my colleagues done the clock in yesterday. Ah, so as an admin, uh, as an admin, uh, you can see their photos and you can also see their GPS location. So yes, our mobile app will capture their GPS location as well. So if you think uh, by just capturing the location, you know, it's not secure enough. Actually, we also have a jaw fence features in our attendance system. Okay, so what is jaw fence? Uh? Basically, if let's say um, you have this location uh, as your office, okay, and then because you you, you may worry, uh, maybe your staff, uh, they try to do the clock in, call out uh, from their phone, uh, I mean from their home, right? Or maybe on the way, or maybe they are on the MRT, okay? They are not even in the office yet, then they do the clock in, call out already. Ah. So this kind of issue, uh, we have the jaw fencing feature, so you can set up uh, the jaw fencing, which is like, uh, let's say, 100 meters of a radius, okay, around your office. All right, 100 meters, uh, for example. And then uh, your staff will only be able to do the clock in or clock out inside of the area. Ah, okay, so this way, uh, you can make sure that when your staff do the clock in, clock out, it's, they are in the right location. Uh, if they are not, for admin, uh, you can also receive the alert from the system, okay, sent by the system. Uh, so this is what uh, we have, okay, in terms of uh, the security. And of course, we have also the uh, facial recognition uh, as well, okay. After they capture their photo, all right, the system will compare, okay, based on their, their real photo, uh, their photos, and also their, their, their selfie data taken, okay, uh, 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 AI facial recognition behind. So not only that, I think you all want to look into this report as well, okay? So we look into the summary. So summary report, okay? Ah, I believe this is the thing that you all want to see, okay? If you are recording your staff OT hours, all that. Ah, so you can have a list, huh? okay? To show you roughly how many hours that they have worked, right? Is there any OT hours? Uh, so for our OT hours, we also fully follow by the uh, MOM regulations, right? We have OT1, 1.5, and 2.0, okay, which is these three things, all right? And uh, how many hours, if there's, is there any late hour or late or under hour, okay? Everything that the system will record for you, uh, manage for you. And then the best thing is all the data here can directly transfer to your payroll system. Because after you get all this data, right? Uh, let's say OT, OT2, they have about, OT1.5, they have about 10 hours, okay? You need to pay them these 10 hours, right? Uh, what you do, you directly just transfer all these OT hours to the payroll system and then just simply click save and then pay to them together with their monthly salary. Uh, it directly includes under their monthly salary, money payroll. Uh, so how to do that uh, later on, I will show you, okay? But this is how the attendance system works, okay? And the integration. So yeah, we do have all this roster that you can set up. Um, 
if your staff do have different shifts or different days, or even you have multiple shifts, let's say up to two shifts per day, or two locations per day, okay, for each staff, you can do that. You can set up like this, all day, rest day, and the leave day that you saw, okay, over here, also directly integrate from our leave system, okay, from our leave module. Ah, so any leave being approved, we directly update to this roster. Ah, okay, no need to update manually. So, yep. And for the OT hours, by the way, okay, not only to transfer the payroll, because for some uh, of the company, I believe you don't really pay yourself OT, right? Or you don't really pay yourself based on hourly. Uh, so if really yourself, uh, let's say they work on OT, uh, what you can do, we also have this, which is you can transfer the OT to leave. Uh, instead of paying them, you give them extra leave day. Uh, okay, so all that, you can also directly do it from our system. Hmm. So yep, that's all about the uh, attendance. Because talking about attendance module, of course, lah, um, different company also have uh, different requirements on this, right? Especially if you have different way of calculating the OT hours, uh, all this, um, I will not uh, talk about two details. So if you want to know more, uh, like I mentioned, yeah, you can contact us after this session, right? Or we will give you instruction on how you can contact us. So yeah, please stay until the end. Huh? And uh, yeah, just maybe one last thing for the attendance. Okay, we also have like a time shift approval and also an OT approval here. Uh, so this is quite unique to our system. Okay, if you do practice something like this, you require your staff to submit their own OT, okay? And then, yeah, you can have an approval uh, over here, processes over here, right? Okay, now we come to our very last module, which is the payroll. Uh, and also very important to uh, all of you, okay? All of the company, okay? So for the payroll system, uh, so the first thing, okay? I will talk about the pay slip first. So for your employees, um, if you remember from their mobile app, they can view their own payslip, right? And for the web portal, they can also view, okay, like this. And they can even uh, find uh, their previous year's history, like 2020, okay? Um, let's say I want to view on my 2020 September payslip. Uh, I can view a breakdown like this, and I can also directly download as well. Okay, directly download into PDF. So not only the payslip that your staff can download or view from their own accounts, they can also view or download their own tax documents. Ah, okay, because for our payroll system, uh, we are fully uh, compliant already with IRAS, with CPF. So basically, if you have processed the IRAA form already, you no need to download any hard copy or you know to print out to your staff anymore. They can directly view it from the system, from their own account. And uh, what else? Like their yearly report, all this they can generate. And if there's any salary progression, you, your staff, um, they can view themselves. Okay. So now I will go into my tag pay run dashboard over here. Okay. So this pay run dashboard. Uh, it's, it's very important, uh, which is what you need to do every month, okay? If you are the HR person, okay, you are the admin personnel, you are the boss, right? You are the one who need to process the payroll, okay? The monthly pay run, uh, you use this pay run dashboard, okay? Straight away, one dashboard uh, can cover you most of the thing, okay? So how do you do that? Uh? You can see our system interface, we have a very clear instruction. You just follow based on these three steps. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, and then you do from the top to the bottom. Okay, so what you need to do uh, and what you can do. Uh, for example, under the prepare payroll, you can update your staff personal information. Okay, your staff personal information. So let's say I click, okay, update uh, personal information. You have a list of employees here, and then if you want to edit on their pay information, okay, this is how you do that. 
okay, we have all the additions and deductions, okay, all the different pay elements. If today you have any bonus, you have any allowance that you will be include into their salary, uh, all that is fully configurable. You can create as an admin anytime, all right? So very important, which is all the CPF, CDL, uh, CDAC fund or any other funds also auto computed and auto calculated by the system already. Uh, for those uh, who who are still calculating all this, uh, calculating all this manually uh, through your Excel, uh, I think this one uh, is a savior. Uh, okay, everything compliance and auto calculated, right? So we go back to the parent dashboard. Okay. So if your staff uh, monthly salary are almost the same every month, right? You don't need to bother too much about this. Then the next step you do, uh, okay, under the first section is all this little button over here. So if you do have any leave items need to be processed, let's say any unpaid leave, you're supposed to deduct their salary. Uh, all the data will transfer from leave to payroll. And then from here, the system auto calculate how much you should deduct them from the unpaid leave. Okay, and then auto include into their monthly salary. Okay, directly, yeah, link from the leave. And the second one, OT hours. Okay, like I mentioned, all the hours, how many hours did they have work, all this data will comes to here. And you can just come in, simply check on the formula, the amount, whether it is correct, then include and pay them under their uh, monthly payroll as well. And any claims, okay, you want to include into their salary, okay, you can also process over here, all right? So once you're done updating all this, then you can start a new pay run already. Uh, so after you create the pay run, let's say you pay your staff based on monthly, you create a monthly pay run. Let's say this month is October, right? By month end ready. Uh, I think most of you are preparing your, your, your payroll pay run ready. Lah. Okay, ah, so October pay run. Okay, once I created, ah, I come to the second step here. And then maybe your boss or maybe the key person, okay, can come to here to go into the pending pay run. Okay, because after you create the pay run, you need someone to go in and approve. All right, so when you want to do the approval, same thing, you have a list of your employees here and you can just simply view to check if it's if, if the CPF amount is correct, um, employer, CPF contribution, uh, all the data, okay, all the details will be shown here and you can simply approve and next. So once you approve everything, uh, uh, now comes to our uh, main thing, which is how you can pay to your staff. So for whoever never done this thing before, uh, okay, for our system, for our pure system, when you want to pay them, you are mainly generating a bank file over here. And then you generate a CPF file. And the last thing you can do is you release their payslip after you're done paying them. Okay, very simple, huh? very straightforward. Huh? Okay, bank file, how do you do that? Huh? When I go into it and uh, I, we, I, we have a list okay, of a bank in Singapore and actually we have all of the banks, lah, okay, local banks. So most common one, DBS, uh, maybe OCBC, okay, you can choose the one, you key in your, uh, the other details, you generate the file. So after you get the file, uh, what you do is you just upload it to your online banking portal. Okay, this one you can refer to your own bank, different banks have different uh, ways of uploading it. Um, but the overall concept is you upload, when the bank receives, uh, it will be an extra uh, instruction for the banks to pay to all your staff one shot straight away, uh, release all the payment to all your staff one shot. Uh, and for those who bring manually, uh, compared to now you are like uh, keying one by one or using the bank transfer, all the amount you still need to type in. Uh, okay, so this thing will really help you. Okay, straight away, one shot release to everybody, right? CPF, also the same concept. So you go into it, you key in your CPF details, you generate the CPF file, so the file you upload to your CPF portal. Uh, whoever submitted a CPF before, right? You go to the Easy Pay, and then you log in with your Code Pass, and then there's an import function there, lah. Uh, that you can just upload this file, and then straight away release the, the CPF for all your stuff. 
Okay. So yeah, once you're done, you release their payslip. That's it. You see, you have done your monthly payroll pay runs already. Just within this one same page, huh? this one dashboard only. Okay. But the last step, huh? okay, is just mainly for you to generate reports only. Okay, if you have any monthly report, yearly report you want to generate, you generate from here. You can go in view, download, and so on. Right? Um, yeah, talking about reports, actually, we have more than that. We have up to 26 different templates and all also MOM compliance ready. Uh, and uh, yeah, another thing, just uh, one last thing I want to mention, and which is uh, talking about the tax, right? IIA, IR21 uh appendix a a b uh, all these are uh, if you need to be processed uh, pro uh, you need to process uh, you process over here okay and then the last thing you can do which is a tax export or we call the tax submission uh, so under this page uh, okay actually our system is direct submit uh it's direct integration okay direct integrated to the iras so basically you key in your details, you click the submit, and then the system will pop up a, a crop pass a, a page for you. You just log in and then uh, you can do a direct submission from there. Okay, so this one also saves uh, quite a lot of your time uh, and can prevent any errors, any human errors, right? So that's, um, and yeah, one last thing, uh, which is we have, uh, integrations with these two accounting software as well. Uh, if for those uh, who is using this, I think I saw a question which is I think asking about zero. Okay, uh, if you're using zero, uh, it will be a bonus for you. Okay, you can directly log in. Okay, to your zero, and then you keep the integration on. So anytime um, in future, what you do is you just match the GL code, uh, GL account code. For, for both platforms, just log in and your Zero or QuickBooks. Uh, and then all the data, when you process, you will just transfer uh, directly to your accounting software. Mm. So this is the integration, how the integration works. All right. So yeah, I think uh, that's all. Okay, that's all I want to talk about uh, today, about our life system, uh, how our system looks like, the core features. So again, I will not go through uh, uh, everything, okay? about our uh, system because um, today is just more like a briefing okay a brief to show you uh, what we have and if you would like to understand more yes uh, later on i will teach you i uh, will let you know how you can reach out to us and yeah i'll just maybe share a bit on the benefits of having a hr cloud system uh, for those uh, who are still doing all these things manually okay the first benefit very obviously which is all the data uh, is real time. Uh, imagine like the attendance, okay? When they done the clock in, clock out, the data should be real time, go to your backend. As an admin, you can check all these reports, right? And it has a centralized view. Uh, so everybody, okay, view the same thing, the admins, okay, the, the staff. Uh, and of course, it saves your time and money. Uh, okay, so money, Vice, maybe some of the bosses here. La. I, I think some of you might be the owners of the company. So you may ask him, um, you know, implementing a new software, you know, to buy a software, isn't, isn't that like an extra cost for the company? Actually, it's no. Okay. So first thing, because um, by subscribing a, a software like us, just log in, actually the cost is not much, la, to be honest. It's just based on how many headcounts we have within the system. Okay. And, uh, and the second reason, very obvious, which is if you are doing all this manually, who are the one to do it? Yeah, I suppose it's the HR, right? The admin, IT, finance, even finance uh, sometimes. Uh, so these are the people uh, that need to be involved if you are doing manually. And the cost, which is to hire them, okay? The, their money salary. Uh, so to have a proper system, to be honest, you don't need too much of a people to actually manage it, okay? And uh, yeah, because also one of the reason uh, it's fully compliant, okay? And it can reduce uh, your error, any possible human errors. And of course, the last thing, which is to improve your employee's satisfaction. Uh, because um, just now, if I show you the mobile app, you can see 
uh, most of the features like if they want to apply leave, if they want to view their pay slip, uh, all that uh, is already available uh, on the mobile app. Your staff can just simply go in, okay, to do all this job by themselves. Okay, no need to go through the HR, you know, the admin anymore, submit manual from, right, do all these hard copy things. Yep. Okay, so yeah, this is the overall concept. And we have this one, okay, which is the government grant. Ah. So um, for those who don't know, okay, we are actually, just log in, huh? we are actually the uh, PSG pre-approved vendor. So as long as your company is registered and operating locally in Singapore, and if you are have, okay, if your company have minimums, okay, or minimum 30% of a local shareholding, uh, then you should be eligible for this grant already. So this grant basically saves you up to 80% of the total cost. Uh, it's actually a very huge bonus over here. Okay. So yeah, for, for this grant processes, uh, we will provide all the guides for you, how you can apply it, and we will even prepare all the necessary documents. Mm -hmm. So yep, if you're interested, okay, you can contact us. So, yep, I, okay, we, we, we can have a very quick Q&A session over here. So for those whoever, whoever have any questions, okay, you can just key in your uh, questions under the Q&A box, okay. So I will try to pick few, a few and answer it. And meanwhile, we will run a poll over here, okay. So if you are really interested, you want to understand uh, further, okay, you want to talk to us, talk to... Uh, you want to know more about the info and especially you want to know how to leverage on the grant. Ah, okay, I suppose uh, a poll is ready to pop up for you. So you can just click yes and then, yep, you can. And then our team will contact you uh, after this. All right, our team will contact you after this. So if you are really excited already, right, after this session, you really, you know, you want to know all this Ah, you cannot wait already. Okay, you cannot wait for us to contact you. You can also contact us directly. Lah. Okay, we have our emails over here. You can send to info at justlogging.com and we have a phone, right? You can directly call us as well. Okay, so before we end the session, um, I just want to see if there's any uh, questions that is not uh, answered yet. All right, I think, wow, my team is doing a good job. Okay, most of the questions already answered. Okay, okay. All right, can you download education cert in the system? Okay, I have questions from Christy. So can you download the education cert in the system? So yes, okay, we do have a module um, called the uh, Just People. Okay, we have an employee database in the system. So you just upload all these, uh, whatever documents that you have, such as your education cert, okay, certification, other certification you have. Uh, you upload into the system anytime in the future you want to download it back uh, you can do that mm. so yes the answer is yes you can download from the system there is a storage for you to store it okay so yep any other questions we have okay mm. It's assisting users. Okay, I have this question from Evelina. It's assisting user eligible for the grant. Um, actually, uh, it's yes. If let's say you never apply before, um, I mean, I mean this one, um, yeah, will depends. It depends. It depends. So I would suggest you to contact us. Okay, maybe you can drop us an email so our team can contact you, can give you the best advice on this. All right. Um, any, okay, I have another question, huh? is there any recommended minimum number of users of uh, employees in the company? Okay, so my advice is actually no, okay, there's no limit. Um, let's say today you only have one, you are, you are the only one in the company, right, one man show, or you have even more than thousands, ah, okay, our system can still uh, cater to your needs, okay, because at the end of the day, you still need to process a payroll. Right, you need to you need to process all this CPF tax information. Uh, so, yep, um, I would say is is yes. No matter uh, uh, how many users you have, 
Okay, how many employees you have in the company? Mm. So Jenny, Jenny, uh, I saw your questions. Uh, do you need to be do to have three modules to eligible? Yeah, this one. Um, do you mind to uh, contact us? Um, yeah, I think our, our team will also contact you. If if you never receive anything from us, you can also uh, contact us directly. So we'll give you the advice. Yeah. Um, any other questions? Yep, I think most already answered. Okay, most already answered. Yep, so just another minute. So if we have no questions, then we can end this session already. Lah. Okay, so yep, whoever interested, okay, don't be shy, right? Just uh, send us email. You want to give us a call directly, also can. Okay, we will give us I give you the best advice, right? We can have a one to one consultation, uh, so called a demo session, right? We can show you more, okay? How our system can fit to your requirements, right? And, 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 and your daily HR, day to day practices, processes, and so on. Okay. Yep. No worries, Jenny. And, uh, okay. So I think um, that's all. Okay, so I think definitely you have uh, quite a few questions. Huh? I, think, I think the team will straight away contact you okay, on this. Yeah, so, so you can straight away clarify from there. Lah. All right. Okay, so thanks for everyone. Thanks for your time uh, to be in this session. So for those who already contacted us, really fill in the poll, then yep, I will see you. Uh, we talk soon. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.